Hello, I'm U.S. Congressman G.K. Butterfield, proudly serving the people of North Carolina's 1st Congressional District. This past week was a busy one. It was a busy one here in Washington, and I just wanted to deliver a brief update to you by way of video. First, I had productive meetings with, with several of our state leaders. I received an update from Secretary Dr. Mandy Cohen on the work the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services is doing to keep North Carolina's families safe and healthy. The Secretary is a very impressive individual with wonderful credentials. From supporting our workers with disabilities to helping seniors keep their homes heated during the cold winter months to ensuring we are getting the healthiest North Carolina we can get. I look forward to working with Secretary Cohen and her team in the months ahead. The Durham County Commissioners came and also had a productive meeting with them to discuss upcoming projects in Durham and how we can work together to continue to grow our region and attract jobs and opportunity. I was also glad to meet with Plymouth Mayor Brian Roth, a great friend, to discuss current issues affecting North Carolina's coastal communities. The second update for this week is that my office continues to accept applications for internships. If you or someone you know is interested in interning for my office, please visit my website at the following address, butterfield.house.gov. That's where you can go to apply. And the deadline is April 13th. I also wanted to let you know that I opened the first district congressional art competition this week. Each year, I invite high school students from all across the district to participate in this nationwide event, showcasing the incredible talent of our country's young artists. And we have so many. I am proud to continue the tradition and invite all of our young, talented artists to submit their artwork before the April 28th deadline. Please visit my website for the arts competition rules. Finally, the month of March marked several special occasions. This week, we celebrated World Kidney Day to raise kidney disease awareness. I know I don't have to tell any of you, but kidney disease is an extraordinary disease that affects so many of our friends and neighbors and family members. There are almost one million people living with chronic kidney disease right now in North Carolina. And so I was proud to be recognized this week by the National Kidney Foundation for my work to address health disparities and advocate for kidney disease prevention and support. I was honored to receive this award. During the month of March, we also celebrate Women's History Month. I look forward to recognizing women pioneers, past and present, during the month of March. In closing, please allow me to extend my appreciation to our soldiers, our sailors, our airmen, and our Marines serving abroad and here at home, as well as to their families and dependents who sacrifice so much every day so that they can have and they can serve our country uh, so that we may free, live freely here in the United States of America. They give so much to our great country. Thank you for your service. That's it for this week's update. We're gonna settle back and watch a little basketball over the next few days. Uh, as always, it is a privilege and honor to represent the first district in Congress. Please know that my office and I are here to serve you. If you have any questions or concerns or just want to know when I'll be in your area, please don't hesitate to contact my office. I am your representative. Thank you so very much.